the wild wood. For a long time, Mole had wanted to meet the badger, but Rat obviously was not keen. So one day, at the beginning of winter, while Rat dozed in front of his fire, Mole set off to explore the wild wood, hoping to bump into Mr Badger. It was a cold afternoon. Everything was very still. It was getting dark. Then the faces began. Meanwhile, Rat had been having a lovely warm doze by the fire. When he woke up at last, he called, Molly, several times, but there was no answer. Then he found that Mole's cap was missing from the peg in the hall, and when he opened the door, he saw Mole's tracks in the mud leading away from the house straight towards the wild wood. Rat armed himself with a pair of pistols and a stout cudgel, and set off bravely into the wild wood. He searched for over an hour, calling, Molly, Molly, where are you? At last he heard an answering little cry coming from a hole at the foot of a tree. He looked inside, and there was Mole. Oh, Ratty, he cried, I've been so frightened. Now then, said Rat, we must pull ourselves together and get going. It would never do to spend the night here. Dear Ratty, said Mole, I'm so tired, I must rest a bit longer. And Mole snuggled down into the dry leaves and went to sleep. When at last Mole woke up, Rat looked outside to see if it was safe to go. It was snowing hard and the whole wild wood was white. We must make a start and take our chance, said Rat. They trudged for more than an hour through the snow, getting more and more lost, when Mole tripped and hurt his leg. Poor old Mole, said Rat, you've cut your leg. I'll tie it up for you. Rat was scratching away at the snow where Mole had tripped up. He found a door scraper and was very excited. Some careless person has left his door scraper lying about where it's sure to trip everybody up, said Mole, and he sat on it to rest his leg. But Rat was scrabbling away again, making the snow fly in all directions until he found a doormat. There, he cried in triumph. Poor old Mole didn't quite know what he was on about. Rat now attacked the snow bank beside them. Mole scraped busily too. Ten minutes hard work and they found a solid little door, painted dark green. Beside it was a brass plate which read, Mr Badger. Mole was chattering away in his excitement, but Rat said, Get up and hang on to that bell pull and ring as hard as you can while I hammer on the door. Mr. Badger. At last they heard the sound of slow, shuffling footsteps approaching the door from the inside. There was a noise of a bolt being shot back. The door opened, and there was Mr. Badger. Oh, Badger, let us in, please, cried Rat. We've lost our way in the snow. Come on into the kitchen, said Badger kindly. There's a fire there and supper. Badger sat the two of them down by the fireside and told them to take off their wet coats and boots. Then he fetched them dressing gowns and slippers and put some sticking plaster on the cut on Mole's leg. And as he started laying the table for a lovely supper, both Rat and Mole felt they were miles away from the wild wood outside. After supper, they all sat round the fire and talked about Toad's troubles with his new love of driving fast cars until it was time for bed. 
Then Mr. Badger took Rat and Mole up to the spare bedroom in the loft, where there were two beds surrounded by all his winter stores. When they came down to breakfast, very late next morning, Rat and Mole found two young hedgehogs eating porridge out of wooden bowls. They also had been lost in the snow. And hardly had they all sat down together when there was a clanging of the doorbell, a stamping of feet in the hall, and in rushed Otter. They've all been so worried about you on the river bank, he cried. Soon after breakfast, Mr. Badger sent the two hedgehogs off home and suggested the others should stay for lunch. Mole told him how much he liked living underground. When lunch is over, agreed Mr. Badger, I'll take you all around this place of mine. And true to his promise, he lit a lantern and showed Mole all over his house, through narrow passages, long corridors, vaults and storerooms. When they got back to the kitchen again, they found that Rat was very restless. Come on, Mole, he said anxiously. We must get off. We don't want another night in the wild wood. It'll be all right, said Otter. I'm coming with you. So they all said goodbye to Mr. Badger and Otter led them safely home.